Hey there guys, in this video I am going to guide you on how to install Metal Slug 3 in Ubuntu 14.04 and 14.10. Now this is the DRM free version from the Humble Bundle or Humble Store. So you will need to download it from there first. This is the version that I'm using. And as far as I know it's the only Linux version that is available. So after you've downloaded it, head to the location where you downloaded it. Alright, for me that is in downloads so you're going to want to right click the installer and head to properties now under the permissions tab please make sure that allow executing file as a program has been ticked all right after that has been ticked you can close it now we're going to go into the nautilus menu and you're going to go to edit preferences now under the behavior tab please make sure that the option run executable uh, text when they are opened is selected. This will allow us to double click it and it will run the installer. So now all you have to do is double click it. You can minimize the window in the back. So the installer would be just like what you would do on Windows. Read through it and click next. Accept the license. Click next again. It is simply telling us that there is no multiplayer for the Linux version which is very sad. So this directory will install it in your home directory. I'm going to leave it as is. I'm installing the 64-bit version. So that is the bottom part. The top part, x86, is 32-bit. So please know which system you're using and select the correct one. So it's finished installing. That was very fast and easy. Click Finish. Now if we go to the Ubuntu Dash, all we'd have to type is Metal Slug and it will appear. I'm just going to drag this into the uh, into the Unity menu there. I can't drag it onto the desktop even though I'd like to. That's not possible. So I'm just going to drag it and put it into the menu on the left. So one click on it and it should start it up right off the bat. Alright, so it's starting up. It will start in the windowed mode. You are more than welcome to change it to full screen. So as you can see, that was it. Pretty easy. And this is running off the open source drivers. If you have the proprietary drivers for AMD or Nvidia, you should be even better off. The game requirements for this, the I mean the graphics processing requirements for this game is very small. So I hope this video helped you get the game up and running. If you have any issues, let me know in the comments section below. I will try to help you the best I can. And thanks for watching.